The lottery dogs that we have are rescue dogs. And the reason why they end up in rescue is because these dogs have a lot of energy. And we just channel on that energy into doing something fun and positive and something that we want them to do. Once we get rid of all that energy, the dogs are a lot easier to live with. So they enjoy this very much, as much as we do. All right, so we're gonna bring Danny out again with Jake and let him uh, demonstrate how to get your dog started playing. You can start playing when they're puppies. You can start as an adult dog. In fact, Jake was about a little over a year when he started playing. So the first thing you want to do is you take the frisbee and you introduce him to it. You do a little bit of tug of war. You encourage the dog to bite the frisbee because they need to learn that biting the frisbee is okay. Biting other things is not. So you want to teach them the things that they are allowed to bite, the things they are not. Let them win the game of tug of war. There you go. And then once they start playing a little bit of tug and learning that the frisbee, what the frisbee feels like in their mouth, you do what we call rollers, which is the frisbee rolling on its edge along the ground. What that does, it teaches the dog to chase it. And also what the frisbee feels like as it's rolling on the ground. If you're having trouble getting the dog to bring the frisbee back, introduce a second frisbee as you're seeing what Danny is doing. Because once they see what you have in your hand, just like most dogs, they kind of always want what you have. There you go. So once you bring that frisbee back, you throw the other one, you show them the next one, you get them to come back, you throw that one. Good boy, you've got to bring it all the way back in. Excellent. Now, the next step you want to do is you throw, hold the frisbee up right in front of their face. Not too high, not too low, and encourage them to take it out of the air. What they do there is that, that way it gets them to look up and to grab the disc out of the air. As they start taking it out of your hands, you want to do a very short throw. Line the dog up to your side. Good. And throw the frisbee right out in front of them. Not very far. Danny's using multiple dishes. You can use just one or two dishes. You don't have to do that many. And as they get better at catching the short throws, you start increasing the distance as to how far you throw. You don't want to do it too far too soon because all that will happen then is the dog gets discouraged and they stop trying to catch it. There we go. So we're going to let Jake do a couple of long throws because that is his favorite thing to do. Let's see how high we can get him up in the air. Can he catch it? Oh, almost. We're going to give him one more try and see what he does. Come on, Jake. Let's give me some encouragement out here. A nice throw. Can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? I think the wind caught that one. The wind can be your friend. The wind can work against you. Danny kept it a little bit lower that time, so that way he can be successful. All right, put your hands together for Danny and his rescue dog, Jake. Good job. All right.